Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will take my old uh, Leica M uh, Elma it's a 9 centimeter and it's aperture 4 and I will just uh, show how to maybe remove old fungus with the hydrogen peroxide 3% so uh, Let's have a look on this nice old lens, which uh, at first hand uh, looks okay, really nice, no marks or something, but um, it's a different thing if we look through the lens actually with a torch, then we will see some different things happen. Well, and as you can see there is a lot of dust and dirt and haze or if we look to the other way maybe there is easier to see yeah there could be some fungus maybe it's only haze but uh, we'll have a look at it so <clears throat> I've been into it the lens before I mean other people have also been in there many years ago maybe and uh, it's not that hard. There are some issues in there that is, uh, make things a little difficult. But let's see how it will turn out. We need some tools. That's important. <laughs> a lens spinner, spinner. This is a compass, an old one. Which I have filed and grind to the fit to work with lenses. And it's pretty good. A 2mm flathead screwdriver, it's nothing special. A dentist tool to make scratches and marks. Uh -huh. And a tweezer can also be very handy. Some small cotton buds, um, thin cotton buds actually. And um, a lens sucker, it's also very good. Some uh, rubber tools. This is the absolutely famous uh, rubber tool from Japan Hobby Tool. And uh, there is another set of nine, which I just will use the two of them. And um, of course, some hydrogen peroxide. Yes, I know it's spelled wrong, so I put a line in between the two <laughs> words. Yes. A lens blower is also very handy, and this is a new one from um, actually this uh, Phota Sol, which is called the Orbit. Uh, it's a HEPA blower, just a moisture free. Well, it's really good because it has a filter and there's a double valve. It will say when I press here on the rocker, it will push out and close the one the, the valve here and uh, when I release the rubber this uh, valve will close and this one will open and simply draw air through the filter so it will be clean air it's really good it's a really good product and let me say just one thing I am NOT sponsored by any company everything I do on my channel is with my own money. So, just have a look at. Oh, we just missed some one thing. We need some um, non abrasive wipes. Uh, this will be the peg pad which I use. It could be Kim wipes or whatever wipes you have. And um, yeah, we will also. <coughs> didn't forget it. We will also use some lighter fluid. It could be extra, it could be zipper, whatever. It does just have to be clean without oil. Now, let's get into it. We need to unscrew the front section here, uh, which should be quite uh, easy. Could be difficult, but as we only need to go into that section here, uh, we need to take it apart and for that it can maybe be difficult <coughs> so 
if you can get one of those uh, sticky rubber tool for gardening or workers which is extremely sticky so you could have a good grip on it here and simply turn it counterclockwise to unscrew it and then we do not need this part here because uh, <laughs> yeah it's only for the focusing as a, and there is no problem but the thing here is the lens assembly with the aperture in and there's the only problem is actually the the uh, lens element which we need to come into and uh, yeah let's jump into it we go in from the front uh, and we need to take off that ring here it will also come off with the nameplate so the only thing we have to do is use our rubber tool with a <coughs> tool that is big enough to actually uh, cover the front here we also need a tool that covers the back here which uh, can be a little tricky um, of course I could just use my gloves <coughs> which I will do and uh, it will make it much easier to use on both hands so the one thing <coughs> I will just use one of the, the rubber tools you will say the number five here on the back and simply put it in here maybe it's too little big nah okay I'll just put it in here and have a good grip on here and then with my front uh, I'll just use the rubber gloves to actually turn the front ring it could be in your lens it's more sticky or so <coughs> but then in this lens uh, it was not that hard to unscrew so now it's off and uh, yeah I can just put it aside <coughs> and uh, then we look into more things here and uh, I think yeah we can just to make it easier we can unscrew this ring here which sit by two screws here and here and I just set a mark here with one of the the arrows here not this one but the other one so I just set a small mark here um, it will just make it much easier so you turn out the turn out to be the same place this ring sit maybe it can sit uh, one position or the other I don't know that's why I set marks here so I simply set a mark here uh, you can just take it away <coughs> and I also set a mark down here because then I will know which which uh, arrow it sits with and then <coughs> You will probably come to the point a little sooner <coughs> two screws with a two millimeter flathead screwdriver it's nothing special it has to have a good fit which this screwdriver have and uh, if it's magnetic the screw are magnetic uh, but yeah this has to be re magnetized so um, just put it aside somewhere where you can find it so and then the other one so and this ring can simply be, be taken off I wiggle a little should be possible so here we are now you see it, <coughs> it's not really anything special 
and since I have a mark over here I just to be sure where it should sit I also set a scratch in here and um, I actually did the same here just a very light one so I know where it should sit now we need to take off the front lens element here which sit by one retaining ring and there is a spacer kind of paper or rubber or something like that so um, let's see how it will go so spread the legs here and put on the the rubber the <laughs> lens tool and wrench good it can sit tight it uh, was not so hard in here <coughs> and simply unscrew it so it is <coughs> and underneath here there is a uh, you can see how it looks it can only, can only w sit in one position there is a kind of a spacer made of I, I would guess it's kind of plastic or so and there seems to be some oil on it maybe from the aperture plates could be now then we look into the front lens element and uh, for that I will use my lens sucker also from Japan hobby tool and take good care there is no small elements on the front lens and the lens sucker seems very clean which it is and simply put it on and wiggle a little it can sit pretty tight and then we have the front lens out so how does it actually look well take a torch and we'll do a uh, well it doesn't really look that good <coughs> I mean there's a lot of dust and dirt so but we'll take a closer look sooner I also use those uh, rubber tool here simply to make have a stand where you can put the lens in a safe uh, in a safe place when cleaning it so it, it looks it looks fine <coughs> so we can just put it on here and let it sit there now next thing is this ring here which is not a ring it actually hold the inner I mean the middle lens element in place so we need to take to unscrew this counterclockwise and for that we will use the rubber tools here and this one is really good for that it's number four which I put on the front and I will simply use on the back the number five uh, rubber tool and then I have a good grip on it and because of the stickiness of the rubber it should be able to unscrew and it sits tight also at the, when I take a, a look uh, earlier so uh, let's see how it will be and then take it out so it looks like here here we can also see the aperture there are some oil but it doesn't really matter I mean it's not a problem oh and so if it is well I could take it apart but it's not the case here so I will just let it sit as it is now um, to get this uh, we need to unscrew here 
this uh, lens element sits here um, and before doing taking it apart I will just set a mark here just to be sure I ended up, ended up the same uh, position now again use the uh, rubber tool number four and simply put this front lens uh, mount here um, and simply use my uh, tool here to actually unscrew it in this case it was not that hard to get off but it could be the reason in your I mean for using a good tool <coughs> so this lens sin sits in the mount and cannot be taken apart so this is how it looks and that's it this tube here uh, barrel or whatever it calls is just a, a, a mount where it holds the front and the, the middle lens element in place and how does this one look well it, it looks I mean if you just look at it it looks okay but if we put a torch through it things are really different I took a picture before I cleaned the lens but you can see there is really a lot of something in here it could be haze or um, it's mostly haze and uh, it's, it looks like it's more in here but there is also something on the front here some maybe you can see it there are some marks here I don't know what it is yet but uh, we'll take a look when we clean with hydrogen peroxide and uh, also on the back here so let's see how good it will keep it will be so uh, yeah interesting stuff so maybe I just uh, should clean the front first so we can put this into the mount and uh, yeah I will just clean the front first <coughs> and for that I will use some pack pads here and the noise you probably can hear in the back is my uh, exhaust thing my ventilation for suck out the uh, the the air I mean the uh, fumes from the lighter fluid when I use that now let's begin with the hydrogen peroxide and see how it will go you can probably buy it on the apotheque or something and let's see how it will be doesn't have to be much just the, the wipe has to be wet for that stuff and just start in the middle and turn it with a very light pressure oh gosh that's why it's, it's good to have it on a stand and maybe it's not the best stand Hmm, we could probably put it somewhere in here. Nah. Or maybe the other end. Just see. So I think it's better. And give it some good hydrogen peroxide. I mean, the Hydrogen peroxide will not do so much about the uh, dust and dirt, but um, yeah, I can just clean it with with the uh, lighter fluid and see how it looks. <coughs> so use a different um, 
wipe here just to see so you have things separate and then try to clean it you have to do it at least twice just to get things really clean and we give it another go so there it's only one side but let's see how it looks wow <laughs> a huge different only on one side so I will just do the other side and see how good it will be. And uh, we just give it another go. <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. And we do it again. So there. Just a little, I mean. And then the lighter fluid. Don't use too much. It just have to be on one side of the lens. And we'll just do it again. And let's see how good it will be. Wow. <laughs> okay. It looks clean, but uh, will it look? What a huge difference. Maybe there are some small hairs on it. Um, just some dust. We can just... Uh, yeah, it will... It will do the work. And as you can see the coating is still on. I mean you can see the different colors here. So what a difference. I think it will be amazing when taking the picture again. Let's see how good it will be. Now put this lens aside and then do the more tricky part here and uh, <laughs> see how good it will be. that's just amazing um, I'll just do the uh, hydrogen peroxide let's just see how good it will yeah that's the really really <laughs> really dirty wow <clears throat> yeah and just do another go with hydrogen peroxide and it's only 3%. There is no, no <coughs> idea of using a stronger solvent. I mean hydrogen peroxide. So let's just see how good it will be. And we will just do another go. Because there was so much dirt and dust on this. So uh, I think it's better to just do it again. Well, it turned out to be <laughs> fine. And we can just do the other side. I mean, let's just see how good it will be at the moment. Well, you can see it's much better. I mean, there's still something on. But, um, I'll just clean this side with lighter fluid. So, take one side at a time. <coughs> And we will just do another go. So there. 
What a huge difference. Wow. It looks like there is no lens, but it is still there. And uh, how good was it? Well, you can see there is huge difference than from before and after. And uh, then I'll just do the the other side with the hydrogen peroxide and see. Let's see if we can take away those those uh, marks of um, of uh, probably uh, fungus. And for that, I will need a uh, smaller cotton bud because it's difficult to get into the edge here. It could be a little tricky. But let's just see how good it will be if I use some a little. And uh, I will just use this one to go onto the edge. And did it make any difference? I think so. But let's have a have a look at the uh, with the lighter fluid and see how it will go. So there. Well, you can tell there is a difference. <laughs> wow, interesting. Now we will just do the final cleaning here for those this lens, and say that's all fine. And I will also do it on the edge here, and see. Wow. What a big difference. So let's see how it looks with a torch through it. Well, there is still something. And it's simply old fungus marks. Um, and again, I don't know if it's a cemented lens, but it's, uh, it's not possible to uh, disassemble this uh, lens, um, yeah, this lens part here. So I can just put it back in again and say that's all fine. And uh, just tighten it so the marks here are the same position. It's really a good blower, this one, because it will not take any dust in and just uh, spray it out, I mean blow out some fresh air. And I will simply just let this one fall into place. Well, you can see there is a huge difference. So, uh, and to make it any better, uh, this uh, paper, whatever, is uh, ring here. I just need to to wipe it clean and uh, just use a plus. wipe away the, the oil that was on so it's not that dirty <clears throat> so there and then there's my tweezer here
then put it on here. It's a little tricky to put in because this the shape it has taken the shape after the lens. So I will just uh, move it. I will not touch the lens element. I will just move the this paper part here. And then put on the um, this retaining ring. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh. I would just use a lens cloth to wipe away the, the oily part here. There's no need for that. So oh, it looks much better. Then on with the retaining ring. Here. Oh, that bloody paper spacer hmm, makes some makes things a little difficult. So if I have a plastic piece here to just move the paper, the spacer in here, and then put my, well there, I could use my uh, rubber tool here to just press it down a little and Go a little counterclockwise, catch the thread, and then screw it in. And this uh, this plastic tool will not harm anything, but it's just to correct the uh, piece of plastic whatsoever it is. I want to just use number. Two, maybe it's. Yeah, this one is too big. Uh, maybe it's better to use this one. <laughs> it's good to have some options. But now you can see it already looks much cleaner. And so, there. Here we are. And uh, to me, it looks much, much better. How about putting a torch through it? Well you can see there are some dust on the back here which I not have blown uh, away yet. But there is still some old fungus which I cannot remove. I mean the lens is really old but uh, at least it's so much better so now we go to the back lens group here. Um, it's also sit in a mount. Um, and there is also a retaining ring here with two notch. Which I will again use my uh, <laughs> old compass lens tool. And simply catch the two notch here. And simply Unscrew it. <sighs> Sits tight. <clears throat> and then unscrew it. Maybe a real, I mean, a normal lens tool would uh, also be fine, but uh, I prefer those old. I think they have a good grip. Not for everything, but still. Now, all for the. Um, retaining ring and out with the lens here well and um, actually before I took it out I set a mark here so the lens actually sit where it should it could be different in your lens but I also set a mark here as you probably remember in the beginning oh, did I told that? Nah. Okay. Well, 
those two parts here, uh, I think they have to sit in line. <coughs> That's my fault. But uh, I set a mark in the beginning at the when the aperture is set at the aperture four, and so I also set a mark here because this uh, lens element lens group um, can actually turn when you turn the retaining ring so it's like I think I don't know but I think it's a kind of a to make it possible to adjust now off with, out with that lens element it's uh, it looks to me it's almost flat but uh, not 100% there is a kind of a curve a little but on the other side is more yeah it's convex and it's also a little convex here on the front maybe it's, maybe it's flat well difficult to see now this group here uh, is not possible to take apart there are maybe two lens elements here I don't know. I do not have a service. I mean, <laughs> service manual for this lens. But um, yeah. But have a look uh, with the torch. I mean, uh, it looks clean to me, as you can see. But how? Oh, with a torch through it. Uh, well, not really clean, as you probably can see. There are some dust and dirt. It's more in the on the back here but also inside here so uh, that's also a good thing when you buy a lens always bring a torch torch with you so you can see through the lens I mean you can see the what's inside or maybe not inside <laughs> so um, I will just clean the <coughs> the internal part here to see how good it will be and again I will use some hydrogen peroxide and just a little and uh, see how good it will be some light pressure on it and out then cleaning with the uh, lighter fluid and a new wipe here so and then some lighter fluid just a little so there and some light movement <coughs> And another go. And so out. Well, it's actually need another go. There was some something on which I didn't expect. I don't know what it is. And that helps. Now, <coughs> let's do the other side, or we can just take a look through it. Has it changed anything? Well, a lot. Actually, a lot. So it's more on the outside uh, of the lens, which will be the inside the focusing. <coughs> So there could be some dust and dirt and so and uh, so I think I will just do the final cleaning with lighter fluid on the back here <coughs> and hopefully it's fine and again I will use a uh, small cotton butt to actually come out to the edge
Yeah, wow. What a difference. But how good is it? Well, as you can see, there's a huge difference over there. There's still something on, just a tiny amount. <coughs> and I will just take that away. It helps a lot more. Okay, some light. Let there be light. Yeah. What was it? Hmm. Looks like it, there is something on. So I will just do the the trick with the hydrogen peroxide. and give it a go on the outside of this lens. Because it could be there are something, uh, some kind of fungus on it. And a final go. Sometimes it's more tricky to go onto the edge, but uh, let's have a look through it. Well, it's not bad. I mean, to me, it's not bad. So uh, I can just put it together and say that's all fine. <coughs> and uh, then I have a lens that should perform much better. So this one sits here. Um, just put it in here and then the retaining ring. say that's all fine so you can see it's not that hard on this lens I mean it could be it could be different in your lens uh, depending on how how the glass the lens element looks so uh, I just need to Put on the front here just to then put it in click and then it has to be tightened good so we can just uh, So that's all fine. Have a look through it. See how good it is. As you probably remember, there was a lot of dirt uh, before. I mean, we couldn't really see through it. But now, what a huge difference. So I look forward to take another picture of this lens. Um, and we will have a test shot. As uh, you remember, I set a mark here in the beginning, and also here on the on this ring here. And then it should be able to put this uh, ring on. There's a screw here, and of course a screw on the other side. So it should be possible to put this on here. 
is a very very tight fit so and catch those uh, screw holes and that's a where it also good to have a mark here if you look for the screw holes well we can see them here but if you have a mark here it will be easier to see okay does it sit correct so it's there and I can just put the screw in and then try without scratching anything get the screw in so there and the other one so this is absolutely interesting to see how good it is so there and then add the uh, front name ring Catch the thread. So and tighten it. Good. So and then put it into the focusing assembly. And uh, now we can see. Oh, it's really a huge difference so there <clears throat> and then I will go and take the exact same picture I took before I took it apart so there and wow what a difference so um, yeah it's not a new lens but as you can see it turned out to be really good uh, with the hydrogen peroxide and the uh, lighter fluid so that's it <coughs> and that's all for me in this uh, case so hope you in, can enjoy the content and can probably be use it there will also be links in the description below uh, of the tools I use uh, I mean except for those old uh, compasses I mean there are you can buy compasses out there and file and grind them yourself so that's all for me bye bye